Hello folks and welcome to our class breakdown of uh, Zell, or Ramza, in Final Fantasy Tactics. It's Zell 58 and sorry that this fight is kind of jumping in in the middle of it. I, uh, I was planning on speeding Zell up so he could just go non-stop. But then I found myself in this really strange battle and I decided that I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, it's a battle with all ninjas and uh, yeah. So, uh, I'll get more into that in a sec, but, uh, you know, Zell's unique character ability is the Squire, which has the same four abilities as all Squires, but you have Yell, Wish, Cheer Up, Scream, and an Ultima that you can learn from the Assassins uh, when you're fighting the Marquis. Uh, as for his other abilities, there's nothing that really sets him apart from other uh, Squire classes, and most of the unique characters, I think all of them actually, they, uh, they also suffer from that. The reason I, I mention that is uh, Zalbag, uh, I believe, his setup for like reaction and support and stuff like that, that is unique from any other class. He has some like knight abilities, if I'm not mistaken. I think I show it to you guys. If not, I will. But, um, so the, the, if you've been watching all these Let's Plays, you will see what I like to exploit with, uh, with Zell. His yell ability, or in this case, scream. Uh, yell, it ups your speed by one uh, permanently throughout the fight, which is a huge asset. If you're able to make two attacks to the enemy's one attack, chances are you're going to win. And then with the uh, Scream ability, it adds Speed plus 1, Magic plus 1, Attack plus 1, and then adds 10 to your Brave. So that that is hugely, hugely awesome. The only problem is, is, yeah, you can only use it on yourself. So those two abilities, you know, are enough for me to want to keep him as a Squire and not really work on any other classes um, past Chapter 2. Now, I would say... A good pairing with the Squire class for Zell would be the Monk ability, because you have you know you have your accumulate and then yell adds to your physical, so you do more physical damage. But at this point in the game, you know I've added the two swords ability, so he has the Chaos Blade and uh, the Excalibur, and you know he just rocks fools. You know there there's he has Regin on, he has haste, and then I speed him up past that, and you know he just you just gotta be careful of that guy so yeah you take that as it is with the the special character breakdowns I plan on giving you like my recommendations for those characters um, and the pros and cons about it and you know I'm just gonna I I'm just going to try to do a one on however many enemies there are of survival and just uh, see who does it but yeah, for this battle, really, really strange. I thought this was going to be a pretty tough battle. That's why I wanted to record it. And these, these Denchas, they do like, they don't even attack. I think it, well, I'd like to think it's because I have uh, Blade Grasp on, and there's almost, you know, no chance of them hitting me. So, maybe there's that. But, uh, still very, very strange. That, another nice thing about uh, a Zell Squire class that separates him from a regular Squire is that uh, this one you are able to equip knight swords, you know, shields, better gear throughout the game. You start off, you know, just being the same as other squires. Only thing that sets you apart is a wish. But yeah. Now it's all hardcore. Um yeah the other abilities, let me get into that. We have wish, which for you know will heal an ally unit for let's say 100 health, but in return it will take 50 health from uh, Zell. So it's not such a bad ability. I, I have used it, you know, just a couple of times, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. You know, it's just, it's just okay. Uh, let's see, we've already covered Yell, we've already covered um, Scream. Um, oh, then there's Cheer Up. Cheer up, hugely, hugely useful. One of the best abilities in the game, just because it per well permanently it raises the brave of one of your characters by five. And if you've been watching all these uh, breakdowns and you've been seeing uh, uh, Carlex uh, commentary or uh, comments, 
you'll see that so much stuff is based on brave you know the the the, the chance of them uh, hitting you of an enemy hitting you with a physical attack you being successful with a lot of physical abilities everything brave is like the building block of all that stuff so with that um, you know it's very useful to, to raise the the brave of a uh, character uh, so it'll raise it by five each time you use it which will permanently raise it by I believe like one or two or something like that so you, know, you, you pick your characters that you want to be physical characters and then use that and you know they'll be good from there jeez now I don't I don't move on me somebody get over here I'll rip your lungs out <laughs> So strange. Usually with these fights too, where you run into multiple of like one character or one class, they'll have some pretty like rare equipment. In this case, not so much. I don't know why they're just like they're they're you know keeping their distance and <laughs> they're not doing anything. Um, so, you know, this is a pretty good class to keep on its own. Like, I would normally not suggest a Squire throughout the game for any regular character, but for Zell, uh, or, you know, Ramza, useful. Because, you know, you have a little bit of everything. Uh, the regular Squire class is lacking on a lot of things. Uh, you know, accumulates useful for a Monk class. Um, first Aid is cool, but, you know, throw stone, I... I I don't really like and dash the only thing good about those two is their success rate dash has a hundred percent success success rate and then with throw a stone you know if the enemy is on a ledge you have the you have the chance of knocking them down and causing more damage but much more better abilities in the game the only thing that really helps Zell is the fact that he has the speed boosting abilities as well as uh, uh, the way to you know Raise uh, brave. So don't uh, don't neglect the class. Oh, I should also talk about Ultima. Like I said, you get from those assassin uh, sister or sisters uh, demons uh, when uh, you're uh, fighting the Marquis for the last time uh, when they're in their human form. However, Ultima isn't as good as it is in most Final Fantasy games. Usually, you know that is the ultimate spell. You know that's why they call it Ultima, but in this in this game it's not that good maybe it's just because i don't really play as a, as a mage but the the casting time I'm, I'm not a fan of uh it's not that long but it's just that there's a, a casting time i don't know uh the 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 range isn't as big as you know say like meteor or summon it's just the the playing you know uh, cross not you're not really missing out on anything if you don't get it that's all I'm saying that's why I didn't really like trip off not getting it just because that battle can be pretty difficult and I was just like you know what I'm just I'm just gonna record it and see what happens Ninjas. All I need to do is kill this one right here, and it's easy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you you hit scream, you know, two or three times, and the, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. All right, folks. Well, there you go. Zell made it. Woo! So next episode, we're gonna be uh, covering Mustadio and see how well he fares. Till then, this is Zell58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate, and uh, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.